deep into the banks of the American River, far removed from civilization in Northern California's Sierra Nevada mountains, I find an enormous amount of Wild Dutchman's pipeline. Along with it, a beautiful surprise lay hidden amongst the toxic leaves. Did I say hidden? I meant audaciously conspicuous. And why shouldn't they be so bold? Nothing wants to eat them, not wasps, not birds, not lizards, not Timon and Pumbaa, or any other insectivore. Their striking coloration informs predators that they're toxic and taste terrible. Well, the crazy green anole will eat them, but it doesn't reside in California, so eat on, you courageously cocky caterpillar. These creatures are a common sight in the deep south of the USA, not so much here in California. Once hatched, the caterpillar consumes the pipe vine and its toxins. The insect stores these toxins as its main defense and retains them through its entire life cycle. Even through metamorphosis, the resulting butterfly is still toxic, even though it no longer consumes the pipe vine leaf. It even has glands on its abdomen to secrete the poison. When she's ready, the swallowtail will lay her eggs on the pipe vine and then coat them in poison. This makes the process take longer, but really, what does she have to worry about? Not much. As if being poisonous isn't enough, the pipe vine caterpillar has another trick up its sleeve, er, head. When threatened, it protrudes an osmotarium from the back of its head, as seen here, and smears volatile organic compounds onto any would-be predator. Additionally, both the caterpillar and the butterfly have extra tough skin to survive the tasting of any unwise predator who will likely spit them back out after being splattered by the osmotarium. I visited this location multiple times and documented the following. First, the caterpillar finds a suitable location that I postulate is difficult for lizards to get to. Most of the chrysalis I found were on sides of rocks. Once our friend finds a suitable location, he runs a thread around the upper portion of his abdomen and stays perfectly still as he begins to transform into a chrysalis. The main defining feature that distinguishes this swallowtail cocoon from other swallowtail cocoons are the lower flanges that protrude from the bottom. Once metamorphosis is complete, the beautifully iridescent pipe vine swallowtail butterfly is reborn and is a welcome jewel as it flutters into our wondrous world. Thanks for stopping by.